Welcome to Pool Boys Recommend, a comedy podcast. It's a podcast where we all talk like we drive trucks. <laughs> we're, we're, we're trucker boys and we like rock and roll. <laughs> yeah, we like rock and roll and losing our families to the profession of trucking. Driving across the great state of New South Wales. I can do this. Victoria. Uh, 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 breaker, breaker. It's pretty good. Yep. Breaker, breaker. Pick, pick me up. Grab a ducky. Breaker, breaker. Uh, we are your your <laughs> pool boys. We're pool boys. We're here and we're rock pool and boys. roll pool boys. Rock and roller. This is a comedy podcast where three boys, three rock and roll boys, recommend things to each other and then they go and do it. And then the listeners turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Stu. Uh, breaker, breaker. My name's Chris. Yeah, my my name's Dave, and uh, and we are your certified <laughs> rock and roll pool boys. Damn straight. We are back with a couple of recommendations, but first, it's time for us to rate and review last episode's recommendations. Yep. And this week, we're going to start with David Reynolds. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, last week, Stu, you recommended to me to get in touch with nature. Yeah. To go for a little bit of a bushwalk. Go for a bit of a bushwalk along the fire trails and the, uh, the game trails and see the kookaburras yeah. laughing at you. That's ya. right. <laughs> and so um, basically I've uh, prepared a little documentary for you. Oh, a really? A nature documentary. Yeah, that's right. Oh, wow. A nature yeah. documentary about, uh, about my, uh, my bushwalk. All right, boys. So what I'm going to get you to do now, because mm-hmm. uh, I've created this little uh, nature documentary, I'm going to take you, take you out uh, into the bush. Uh, yeah, close your eyes. Yeah. Uh, we're going mm-hmm. we're going out into the bush now. Oh, okay. Ooh. Delightful. <laughs> was that the entire walk? Did you just walk in your backyard and back in your backyard? <laughs> I should have sweat for you walk to the what, sixteen <laughs> steps on the on the health app. I feel like Chris, Chris absolutely worked his the sweat off his fucking face making a brand new thing. I ruined all of my life, spent all the money that I don't have, and you, David, walked to your fucking letterbox. No, nah, I'm just joking. I did actually go for a push walk. Wow, <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm just goofing out. How was it? Actually, um, I went. Yeah, yeah. I went. I actually went to um, the. I was in Canberra over I mean, the weekend. The uh, the That's bush right. capital. Yeah, capital yeah. of the bush, the capital of the bush, um, which is where all the best the best bush walking is done, obviously. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Amongst the cows and, uh, and the Patterson's curse. Yep, that's right. <laughs> yep. You see the Patterson's curse? Patterson's curse. Yeah, the the purple stuff that grows everywhere. I've never heard of this before in my life. What are you talking about? Uh, Patterson's curse. It's like a weed. It's like a noxious weed that grows in lots of yeah. paddocks around Canberra, and it's like a bright purple plant. Bit of an agriculture trivia there for you guys. Yeah, yeah. Did you know? Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, great. Pool boys recommend dumb shit. And have some natural knowledge. Yes, we are botanists. Go on, Dave. Um, we uh, so basically we were in, in Canberra. Um, we went to the Arboretum. You ever been to the Arboretum? You know what that is? Oh, that's that that um, whole reserve that's full of trees. That's like a plantation in in honor of like yeah. a whole bunch of people that died in wars and stuff, right? Yeah, man, it's like a it's like an aquarium for trees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah, it's okay. good. It was great. Uh, it was awesome. Um, just went around, um, walked and you know went to buy some trees. Walked on some. Hills. Yeah, nice. Foot, foot to ground. Yeah. Heart yep. to soul. Uh, and that was it. And it was it was good. Oh, I okay. had a good time. I'm now I'm now taking questions. Thanks, guys. Oh, oh. Okay. What? Well, okay. Questions. Did you go to the bonsai, the little bonsai pavilion? Oh, you're damn right. I went to the bonsai. That's man. a beautiful spot. Yeah, There's some dude, ancient it was bonsais so in there. Sweet. Yeah, man. There was one that was from like 1860. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's like a potato but it was from 1860 <laughs> yeah how does a tree so old stay so small i know <laughs> okay <laughs> how long did it take you uh we were probably walk- we were probably only walking out there for like an hour or something like that but oh, it was yeah. nice yeah that's you know, lovely just like kind of strutting around you know i got um skittled i almost got skittled by like a bunch of people on bmx's there are people in bmx's everywhere Oh yeah, in Cam- in Canberra definitely because it's so flat. Yeah. It doesn't. You just get on mm. the bike and you don't have to push. 
It's yeah. funny you mention that. I'm pretty sure the B in BMX actually stands for bonsai. So that actually makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, there was a weird, <laughs> what a weird does... I haven't seen this. Wait, wait, wait. Can we get to the bottom of this? What the fuck does BMX stand for? Like Surely bonsai. It's bicycle? Bonsai. Surely. Yeah, sure. But yeah. bonsai, like what? M- motocross xylophone? Like what the fuck is, is the X? Isn't that the cross? Um, I, th- I think that's the cross. What? Motocross? It's motocross. That's the cross. Oh. <laughs> it's not motocross. It's it's like mountain cross. Or it's something. actually a good trivia question. Okay, what yeah. bike? Yeah, motor motor cross. Yeah, what is, bike, where's the motor? Mountain cross. It's mountain the cross. M. I think. Oh, I guess there isn't an M. It's not motocross. There's no not. motor. I mean, you're the motor. Then why why isn't it just BX? You're the motor. It's just BX. Be the motor. Bike cross. <laughs> Broom. Um. Yeah. Yeah. No. It was good. Um. Yeah. Well, actually, awesome. I enjoyed it. You know, I was just outside, and I like being outside, yeah. and it was nice. Yeah. Fucking love um, it. In. But. Ha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, was good. Um, awesome. You can just like play that as you're going to sleep if you like that sound. Yeah. Just to put you just, you know. um, Dave, I want to ask you something. As a matter mm-hmm. of fact, you know what? This is very unorthodox. I'm going to get something. I'll be right back. Oh, sh- uh-oh. Okay. Well, this uh-oh. is very unorthodox, Stu. I don't know. Oh, there he goes, running off. What's I'm looking to the judges now. They're, they're confused. What's he going to get? They're, looking, they're wondering. And he's back. What's he allowed? If a dog can play basketball, this must be allowed. Dave. <laughs> Yeah, Stu, what's up? I have this. A book. A book. This book cool, is a book. Man. This book I take on every bushwalk that I do. Oh, yeah. And what really? I want, okay. what I would like to know is what animals did you see? Because when I take this book oh. with me on every bushwalk, I tick off yeah. the animals that I've seen and where I see them. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. So I'm curious. Um, I saw, uh, it was this weird, it was kind of like a, had this really interesting coloring. It was like a, on, on its belly, it was like purple. Um, mm-hmm. on its head, it was like this really hardened kind of exterior on its head. Yeah, about what size? Um, oh, does it have? Did it, it have like webbed human feet size. or like chicken? It was human. Human size. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> and it was riding a bike. Yeah, <laughs> that's not in here, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm looking everywhere. <laughs> it's n- it's not even in the botanical section. <laughs> yeah, that's what the BM- BMX stands for, botanical. Not in the <laughs> <insects>. <laughs> <laughs> you actually had me there for a sec, though. You really had me there. <laughs> yeah, um, purple. Did, okay, I'm just going to pick some things at random. Yeah, okay. Did you see, we'll see if I saw him. Did you see a... Uh, did you see a noisy fryer bird? Oh, what's it, look, what's it look like? It's kind of like an ibis, but a bit more beautiful. Was, mm. Is it on a bike, no. generally? Uh, I'm not interested. Probably just see it. Probably uh, if you're not, okay. Probably mostly, but very a lot of bike content. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, just see a spangled drongo. Yep. I think we call them politicians, Stu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of them in Canberra. Hey, <laughs> look at that. That was a good. That was a good slam. That was a very yeah. good slam. All right. What else? What else have we got? <laughs> you we got know what? Fuck it. That was pretty good. I'm still, I'm still getting laughs on that. That was great. <laughs> Uh, Did you see? Oh, you know, you know what I hope you saw? Because whenever I what? see one, I get really excited. Well, actually, two birds. Yeah. New Holland ho- honey eater. A New Holland honey eater. They're beautiful. They're mm, kind of like white, yeah, white, fuck yeah, man. white. A little bit of kind of like dusky gold uh, and a black head. Yeah. They're they're beautiful. I took out I took out like a little pot of honey, but I, nothing. Nothing. They didn't come. <laughs> they didn't come and knock them. Um, Just the kids with the bike stole it. <laughs> and the, up, yeah. honey. <laughs> the other yeah. bird that I love. <laughs> I know you know what this bird is. Did you see a superb fairy wren? Uh, it's blue. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're um, blue, yeah. I didn't. No, I didn't. Um, ah. I, I did see some currawongs. Oh, beautiful. Currawongs are good. Oh. Yeah. And you're 100% sure they were currawongs? Um, no, I didn't ask them, actually. Ah. I just assumed their species, which I feel is pretty, pretty rude. Just in case you got it currawrong. Oh, oh. Uh. <laughs> oh <laughs> gosh. Ah. That one oh. was just as good as Chris's zinger. Uh, okay. <laughs> Looking at the judges, they... Yep. Oh. Okay, that was te- that was technically a joke. Okay. Mm, oh. The Russian judges aren't pleased. <laughs> no, they're what not. has happened to this segment? <laughs> <laughs> All right. The first so one. basically, let's do more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this has been good. Uh, boys, <laughs> enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> basically, look, it wasn't the best bushwalk I've ever been on. I've been on some good, yeah. like I did my Jig of Edinburgh and stuff and mm-hmm. that was really, really good, but yeah. I didn't really have the chance to like go out into like some really rural kind of uh, really obscure spots. So, you know, I, it could be better. You know, but mm-hmm. even just getting there, I had a good time. Mm-hmm. It, you know, it was it was just it was just good to to be out there in in the nature a little bit. Yeah. And yeah. so on on my scale, we know that my scoring system. I use mm-hmm. every number between zero and one hundred, one time. Except for eighty. Yep. Except for eighty, I use it twice. <laughs> this week. Yeah. 
We found the perfect middle ground oh. of 50. Oh, 50, wow. nice. Nice. 50. This is the 50. I like it. It was it was a bush a bush walk in brackets in Canberra. Mm-hmm. Don't know how to feel about Canberra. Mm. I mean, like I had they have some really good breweries there. True. But on the other hand, there is a ludicrous amount of post-retirement men on roller skates, and I don't know why. <laughs> Was they're just sitting down at lunch at one point, and then literally like a whole fucking gang of them just like went past. There's like twenty of them, all on roller skates. Really? All in shorts that were too short. Oh bloody hell! Mm-hmm. A gaggle of spangled yep. drongos. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, extra yeah. spangled. With extra yeah. spangles. <laughs> With extra spangles. Um, I'm actually, you know, as much as as much as I had a, had a good time, hmm. I actually really want to talk about the rest of them. Who's going next? Oh, I believe it's me. It is. Uh, last week, Chris. I charged you with uh, creating, becoming a brand new inventor, mm-hmm. making a brand new invention, yep. something never seen before. I'm ready. Lay it uh, on me. Okay. Hello, sharks. Uh, I am yep. seeking a $50,000 $50, investment uh, okay. for 20% of my company. Interesting. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I was thinking of what to invent. Hang on. Let me just write in this. Let me just write down in this pad menacingly. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Good. <laughs> uh, I was thinking of what to inv- invent. My first thought mm. was to invent mm. a sport. A sport. Yeah. Oh, that's but I don't know anything about sports, so I, I didn't what? do that. And I really struggled okay. with this one. Like I really struggled yeah. to think of something because yeah, like, right. I'm not particularly useful. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, <but> you? <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. That's not rude. inventing. That sucks, yeah, you are. That sucks. Come on, mate. You're Come a very on. useful engine. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Well, I hope to prove that to you guys today, because uh, I invented a board game. Oh hell a yeah! Board game, yes, yes, the yes, cones yes. of Dunshire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the board game is called Trumpopoly. Oh yes! Uh, here's the board. Oh, that's yes. amazing! Yeah. Oh, uh, Stu, do you want to describe to the people yes. what, what I'm holding up right here? Uh, Chris is holding up what essentially looks like a cross between <laughs> the Monopoly board and the Articulate board. And in the centre of it, it's got a big picture of Donald Trump's head. And around the edges, it's got things like places you can land, I'm guessing, with your little uh, token, which is like there's a Twitter symbol. There's also a... What are some of the other symbols? I can't actually... Oh, there's an Barack Obama symbol. There's a 4chan there. There's a Twitter. Yes. Uh, and there's it looks a, like the world's most hateful pretzel. Yes. Oh, there's just a big C. Or and like if you were drowning and someone threw it to you, you'd just be like, I'll just drown. It looks right. like Trump is surrounded by all the things that trouble him. Uh, that he loves and hates. Uh, he loves cool, and hates. Cool. Loves and so, hates. So yeah, let me describe to you the game. Fuck yeah, man. I'm so, so into this. Uh, you guys play. You play mm. as one of Trump's loyal cronies. Yeah. Uh, who yeah. realizes that a they're probably going to lose the election. A trumpet. And yeah. when Trump does lose the election, their careers will be completely over. And okay. so they're oh. fighting and trying to make sure that Trump gets elected again. Wow. Uh, and the only way to do that is to get uh, enough dirt on his biggest competitors. So I've just sent oh, you guys um, wow. your, your little playing card. Uh, oh, oh, shit. So wow. with that, we've got nine yes. faces, right, of Trump's nine greatest enemies. And yeah. you need to get dirt on at least three of them in a row. So either horizontal, vertical, or diagonal. You oh. need to get dirt on all of them. And you get dirt by going around the board. And you can also lose dirt by going around the board. So okay. just to break down who's on this nine-person card, we've got Bernie Sanders, mm-hmm. uh, Hillary Clinton, yep. Uh, yep. Elizabeth Warren, yep. uh, AOC, Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez, mm-hmm. uh, Joe yep. Biden, yep. Uh, John Bolton, number six, just okay. squeezing in there. Used to be a, John a confidant of yep. uh, Mr. Okay. Trump, but he recently yep. wrote a tell-all book. Uh, <laughs> number seven, you got Pete Buttigieg. Uh, went for the Democrat, Democratic Beat nominee. Judge. Didn't get it, but uh, you beat a judge. Uh, and you got Barack Obama, of course, yeah, a great, right. a great enemy. And yep. uh, in the bottom right-hand corner, what do we got there? Some money, sack of money, I believe. Yeah. Uh, not a sack of money. That's actually Mike Bloomberg. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you set and, um, him up and you knock him down. Oh, for the political jokes today, aren't I? <laughs> it was good. Uh, so you guys get to pick uh, play as one of the cronies. So it's time to pick you guys' characters. So we've got uh, the VP, Mike Pence. Yeah. Uh, we've got uh, Kellyanne Conway, Trump's PR lady. Oh, damn. Uh, we've got Mitch McConnell, um, the most evil man in America. Okay. Lindsey Graham, uh, one of Trump's talking heads. Mm-hmm. And uh, of course, Time Man of the Year 2001, Rudy Giuliani. Okay. All right. Should I be embarrassed that I don't know many of these people? 
Um, no, it's probably healthy. It's probably healthy that you don't know. Yeah, and I'm, I'm assuming and probably 50% of our audience don't. Yeah. And that's okay. I'll just listen to too much of this stuff yeah. and it's soaked into my brain. Can you, and, uh, can you tell us who... Can you just assign it to us based on oh, the no, metric no. of your own devising? Oh, I'm really keen on being the most evil man in America. Uh, Mitch McConnell. Okay. Yeah, can I be him? And one of the most ugliest too, but uh, we won't oh, hold that yes. against him. <laughs> um, uh, he is. He looks like a half-chewed yeah, I mean, twisty. Uh, I, won't, I won't get into it all. I won't get into it. Yeah, we don't need to. Yeah. Uh, and Dave, how about you be Rudy Giuliani? Oh, there he is. Yeah, uh, the Count That's Dracula of, uh, of of Trump's friends, really. <laughs> Everyone has one. Uh, okay, uh, are you guys ready to play? Yeah, let's play, man. All right. Yeah. Yep, let's do it. Uh, I'll roll. Do, uh, do you guys have dice? Yeah. Yeah, I've got some dice. Go, 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 just a D6. Just a, yeah. just a six-sided right. die is all yes. we need. Uh, okay, Dave, um, who's now Rudy, Rudy Giuliani, because you were the mayor of New York, um, yep. you, can, you can go first. All right. That's three. Uh, up, down, left, or right? Um, right. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, you land on a MAGA hat. Oh, yeah, MAGA hat. <laughs> MAGA hat. Okay, so that's that that's essentially the community chest of this game. Oh, yeah. So you, you want to land on the red spaces because they'll let you get dirt. Yep. You don't want to land on the blue spaces because they'll take dirt away. So oh, I'm landing on a purple space, so it could be either. Uh, okay, so uh, ooh, Trump made fun of a 14-year-old girl who's trying to save the environment. What a zinger! Uh-huh. Move forward one space. Okay, <laughs> so that means you land on <laughs> Ukraine. Let's see what dirt you've gotten from the <laughs> Ukraine. Okay. Oh yeah, let's see. So there's two types of there's three types of dirt you can get. You can get a nickname from Fox and yep. C, from Fox News, or you can get yep. a scandal or fake news. So Ooh, from the okay. Ukraine, uh, you've gotten a scandal on Joe Biden. Oh my uh, God. Hunter Biden has been working with the Ukrainians. You not good, not good. Most uh, so just. Um, not good at all. Get that picture I sent to you, that nine, that yep. nine person picture, and uh, yep. just cr- make a little cross, make a little mark on Joe Biden there. Right on Joby? On, on Joe, the middle boy. Noted. Oh, oh, it's a really important thing. So um, uh, those, those spots around the outside will give you very specific um, dirt on like, certain people. But if you go to the middle with Trump, uh, he'll just say a really in, uh, intelligent quote and it can give you dirt yep. on anyone. Anyone you want to. So he's the oh only my God, one yes. you want to aim for. He's got the most dirt out of everybody. That's true. Right. I'll just ask him. Oh, so you want to aim for the middle. Okay. Kind of, yeah. Okay. I cool. studied dirt a lot. I studied uh, it. Stu. Yes, I'm rolling. Oh, that's a, that's a one. It's a crit fail. Okay, you're going to CNN, uh, yep. which would take away a nickname, but uh, you don't have any, so don't worry about that. Dave, you'll okay. go. Okay. That's another one. Oh, you go for the whistleblower who will... Okay, shit. That doesn't sound good. I don't like whistleblowers. Nobody no, does. I am Guy oh, Fieri. They're taking away all. your dirt on Joe Biden. Fuck! Oh, hell. what are the chances? Sorry, buddy. But his son is in the Ukraine. I know. Something. Well, the whistleblowers say otherwise. Uh, Stu, your go. Okay. Alrighty. Two. Two. You land on a MAGA hat, my friend. Oh, okay. All right. Let's see if it's good or bad. This is, this is unreal. <laughs> I feel tense. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, Trump tweets threatening war on North Korea. Like oh. they'll do anything about it. Ha ha. Move forward one space. Hell yeah. Okay. All right. Of you've landed course. on Russia, Stu. That's really good. Yes. Let's see what dirt you get from Russia. Excellent. Okay. This is looking Bloody good. Russia's full of dirt. Uh, oh, you've got dirt on Hillary Clinton. Of course I do. Uh, Clinton has oh, email. Yes. She has oh. an email account, so she, that's enough dirt for email. you. That's enough dirt for me. She, <laughs> she, <laughs> she's a witch. She should have known better. <laughs> she should have known uh, better. Dave, you'll go. All right. That's two. All right. One, two. You've landed on Fox News. Yep. Let's yep, see yep, who yep, you're getting yep. a nickname on. Oh, you got a, <laughs> uh, you got a nickname on Bernie Sanders. Bernie. Uh, and you got Crazy Bernie. Crazy, Crazy Bernie. Bernie. You got some dirt on Bernie, so it, make a little mark next to Bernie. It, it Bernie when I pee. <laughs> That's a good one too. Thanks. Oh, 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 something really important I've forgotten. Uh, so okay. when you do have three in a row, uh, horizontal, yeah. vertical, or diagonal, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. have to, to, to win, you have to do an impression of Donald Trump uh, talking about how good you are at this game. Uh, awesome. Oh, awesome. That's very yeah. good. That's, that's, that's a very good. You, yeah, sort of, yes, awesome. That's your yard. Right, give me another turn. I want to go again. Uh, it is it is Stu's go, Stu. All right. Oh, far out. One again. That's okay. Uh, Nancy Pelosi 
So that means you're going to lose dirt on... Uh, that is Pete Buttigieg. Don't have no. any dirt on him, though, so don't even worry about it. Dave, you'll go. It doesn't affect me. That's a six, baby. Six. Oh. Oh, man. Um, Give me some of that doit. You want to see a bird grave? Go to a windmill. All right, you've just landed on the family. So that's uh, Don Jr. and Ivanka there. Wait. They're going to give they you... They can't get dirt on me, can they? No, no, no. Uh, they've got some fake news on Elizabeth Warren. Uh, she eats oh babies. There you go. <gasps> well, how can we do this? They see eat babies. I've talked to a lot of babies and no more babies than anybody. <laughs> it's There's a very like Italian, eat. Donald Trump, but uh, I'll take it. Come on. Okay. All right, Stu. <laughs> yes. All right. Oh, six. All right, you've landed on Donald Trump. You know what that means. Oh, uh, what do I have to do again? we got a quote, baby. Oh. I think if this country gets any kinder or gentler, it's literally going to cease to exist. People love Trump's hard attitude. Place dirt wherever you want. Whoa. Oh, man, that is good. Um, you know what? I'm going to go for the for the um, vertical row, so I'm going to place dirt on Joe Biden. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice middle go. All right, uh, David? I go cup, 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 bang, bang, bang. Five. Oh, you also land on Trump. Yes. Oh, no, that's, yes. the, that's the game. Hold on. hold on, hold on, hold on. You need a quote first. Okay. Uh, I will be phenomenal to the women. I mean, I want to help women. Uh, Trump's a ladies' man. Ladies love to vote. Uh, so you get to place dirt wherever you want. Where do you want to put it, Dave? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to place it on um, Bird the Booty Bird Budge. Is that Hillary Clinton? No. No, the, bar- the Booty Budge. Is that oh, Biden? Budgie smuggler down the bottom left. <laughs> Pete Buttigieg. Oh, Pete yeah. Buttigieg. Really? You're not going for the win. You could have won just now. You could have won. If you Wait, put on what? Hillary Clinton, you would have won. Dave, you've got, to look at your, you've got to look at your bingo sheet. Oh, that's sheet. who I... Oh, fuck. I thought we were talking about someone else. You've got to oh, put you on Elizabeth Hillary. Warren. You got Elizabeth Warren mixed up with AOC. That's all right. My bad. Fucked it. Yeah, I'm putting it on Hillary. Do you want to go again? I'm putting on Hillary. You pipped me at the post, man. All I needed was Barack. All I needed. <laughs> Amateur hour. Well, he hasn't won yet, Dave. Oh. All right. Okay. Listen. <laughs> Come on. Listen. <laughs> fuck, I suck at this. What does lips. Donald Trump fucking sound like? Purse your lips. I'm the so, best at uh, this game. Everybody says so. I'm the so. best at this game. All right. Everyone yes. says so. I could talk about it with anybody. <laughs> They'll tell you. They'll tell you that the D- DJ Trump is is the man. He's the best the one that ever rolls played. all the dice. I've rolled every dice. I've only ever got a six. <laughs> also, also, she's got bad <laughs> emails. She's got bad emails. Get out of there. And ladies and gentlemen, with that, Trump has been re-elected. Well done, Davey. Oh, well done. Yeah, it's, it's, I knew that I would come here. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Uh, guys, my, um, <laughs> my, my, my reviews are out of, are out of two stars. Mm. Um, a simple yes. man. And it's a simple review. I'm giving it one star. Mm. Uh, it was one a bit star. of fun. It was a bit of fun, Woo! but uh, there's a lot of work inventing something. I don't think yeah, I'm going to do sure. it ever yeah. again. Yeah. Great stuff, man. That was, that was ripper. Yeah, it was awesome. I was surprised that it was uh, a board game. I think that it was inventive of you to invent a board game because I was picturing you like slaving away in a workshop trying to like <laughs> solder bits of wires together to make some sort of <laughs> yeah. new like potato engine or something. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't happening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a, a vacuum cleaner, but it goes underwater. And by that, I mean I just put it in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that's a pool cleaner, man. Yeah, we, we could use one over here. <laughs> yeah, we could use a pool cleaner. <laughs> yeah, that's what you call it. It's a pool cleaner. I invented yeah. the pool cleaner. Um, which brings us to you, Stuart Owen. I don't know about you, Dave, Stuart. but I've been, I've been hankering I'm on this fucking, for the last... I'm just... Yeah. I'm, I'm just, so excited uh, to hear about this. Uh, Stuart Owen, last week I recommended that you take up gambling with my money. <laughs> How'd you go, mate? I love gambling. Put another oh. dime in the sports bet, baby. I love gambling. <laughs> so come and make some debt and gamble with me. Yes. 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 Nice. He's addicted. So I jumped into this. Chris gave me 20 bucks and uh, I immediately just became anxious. I've never gambled in my entire yeah. life. Um, no, you can't say that anymore. Yeah, I know. As <laughs> yeah. I said last show, I... Um, I've had a couple of silly nights at casinos, but really I've never seriously gambled. But I took this quite seriously um, and I had no fucking idea what I was doing. So the first thing that happened, right, I, I download Sportsbet. Uh-huh. And the first mm. thing I see, like the landing page, is like the page that is dedicated to horse races and greyhounds, really. 
And also mm. chariot races, which is still a fucking thing. What? Oh, I can't. They're so dangerous. Uh, what is it called? It's called a harness, right? Yeah, harness, yeah. Anyway, look, um, I don't want to invite an argument about this, but it made me feel fucking weird. And I've never been close to that world, but the idea mm. that I had something in my hand and the money ready to go to put on these living creatures, I'd felt really uncomfortable. Um, if you do it, I, I don't really care, you know, live, live your life. It's not for me, though. Um, so I went straight to the sports side of things. That's that's where yeah. that's what you had the most. That's fun. what yeah. you really want to be doing. Yeah. So my initial plan was to make four bets at five dollars each. Okay. And uh, that's kind of where I started. So let me just get my my bookie book out. Oh my god! You dirty, you dirty you, boy! I've got <laughs> a, I've got a whole list of my dirty. winnings and and everything. Come on. So you're, you're crook. You're corrupt. <laughs> you're corrupt. The cool thing about uh, sports bet and gambling is like. I didn't really realize this, but you can you can bet on video games. Re- oh, really? What do you mean? Oh, you yeah. can bet on anything. You can bet on video games. Wait, you don't and mean so like the virtual greyhounds. You mean like actual video games. Actual video games. So there's a really, really cool game that came out a few years ago, and I, you, yeah. I used to play it a lot, and it's called Overwatch. Um, Overwatch. Actually, I was living with you guys when I was really into Overwatch. Yeah, you were. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was yeah, a lot yeah. of fun. You're you were really into Overwatch. Um, so you guys have seen how much I love the game. And I realized that you can bet on the Overwatch League and there's like, there's teams for every city. And so mm-hmm. that, was, that, was my first, that was my first bet. There was a, a um, game coming up between uh, Los Angeles Valiant and the Toronto Defiant. And the odds for yeah. Toronto Defiant were 5.8. Wait, you're saying it was paying $5.80 yeah. if they won? Yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah, $5.80 yeah, for a dollar. Um, yeah. I looked up the table and I was like, oh... LA Valiant, Toronto Defiance, you know, they're not too far away on the ladder. And Toronto Defiant, you know, they're due, they're due for a win. That's, or at least I was hoping they were. Um, <laughs> and so I put it on Toronto Defiant. <laughs> I woke up in the morning. I have an underdog. I, I, I watched the match. Boom, baby. Toronto Defiant. Well done. Uh, they won. Oh. So I got, I got 29 bucks there. Well, a, pro- a profit of $24. And, um, oh, yeah. and so I immediately sent you back your 20 bucks. I did, I did notice that was in my uh, yeah. account. But, yeah. uh, oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, amazing. And then yeah. uh, the next thing, like uh, the other sport that I really love is uh, soccer. Mm. And unfortunately, our soccer season in Australia isn't going at the moment. But yeah. I did bet on the English Premier League. Mm. Now, boys, have you guys heard of the football club Arsenal? Uh, I, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, familiar. Yeah. yeah, you're familiar. Famously shitty. Yeah. You ever heard of the Wolves? Sorry? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're from the um, the woods. <laughs> the animal? Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the soccer team, the Wolves. Um, now, they actually are a very good team, but... The odds were, uh, and the actual the odds were actually in the Wolves' favour. So it's two point six for the Woods uh, for the Wolves and three point three for Arsenal. And Arsenal okay. is kind of loosely my team. Like I don't really follow the EPL very much, but um, Arsenal's the team that I go for when I do. Yeah. And win, baby! It was another win. When you put money on the Arsenal, you, what was the odds? The I just said three point three for Arsenal. Damn. Yeah. So oh, I got wow. I put five bucks on that. And uh, the payout was sixteen. Well, Fifteen bucks out. Yeah, so you know, got, usually the favourites win, Stu. This is amazing. You've I know, I know. Well, I, I did a lot of research, and I, I immediately, uh, like even before this point, I had two. You know how you can bookmark things and put them right at the top of your browser. Yeah. I had like an, yeah. an odds calculator, and um, <laughs> oh. I had an odds calculator, and I also had this site which yeah. took the odds that other sites have put out and analysed those odds. Yeah. saying how often those teams win at those odds. You degenerate. <laughs> I know. I got wow. really into it. And it got me worried. Wow. I was const- it's paying I'm, off. By this point, I'm constantly checking my phone. You scummy I'm like, piece of crap. I'm like, you know, what's, what's, what's the next bet? What's going to happen? Yeah. Um, and then I actually did another English Premier League um, uh, bet. So uh, it was Watford versus Chelsea. Uh, Watford's, Watford. Watford's odds were 8.5, so big payout but small chance. And um, Chelsea's was 1.33. So not a very exciting bet. I put it on Chelsea and I won because Chelsea is great and no one's ever heard of Watford. Yeah. Um, Hooford? Watford! I mean, I don't know that that's what they sound like, but I'm pretty sure that that's what soccer teams that I've never heard of sound like. Watford! Uh, I, I, will, I will say, Stu, just, just quickly, I, hmm. I gave you this challenge because um, I knew you, you, know, you weren't very knowledgeable or experienced in the world of gambling. No. Uh, I sort of hmm. want to throw you in the deep end a bit. Yeah. Uh, but usually in the, in the world of gambling, they'll say like $1.33 rather than... Oh, do uh, they? 1.33. One point three three. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Yeah, that's what I was saying before. I'm it was still paying, learning. You know, they say it's paying $4. 
Yeah, uh, which is the okay. I just know there's uh, there's a couple uh, degenerates listening to our podcast right now, probably screaming at them. F- for sure, yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> just like, case. who's this numpty and how do I get on his fucking tips list? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, three out of three is not common. No, um, but I was starting to feel, I was starting to feel pretty good about myself at this point. Yeah. And then, so. Yeah, that's, that's how you really get fucking addicted to gambling, oh, man. Oh, yes. Yeah. And then, and then what happened was, uh, oh no, I've placed two $5 bets here, but for Chelsea, because the odds were so, so good, $1.33, mm. now, now that I know how to say it. Beautiful. Um, I actually yep. put 15 on that. I put 15 oh, bucks buddy. Because it was a, it was a sure thing, right? 15 bucks. Yeah. And Jesus. which is probably really dumb because the payout's like $4.95. Like it's not a, it's, I, I'm in still an idiot. It's not, a, it's not a, it's a lot of legwork for not a lot of yeah, profit. Yeah, exactly. And then my next bet, my next bet was actually Melbourne versus Richmond. Um, oh right. yeah, the AFL. Yeah. I, I put my money on Melbourne, which I know is a dumb thing, but this is, this is where uh, my emotions came in because mm. last year. You never trust your emotions. Last year, never. That's what I got taught in acting school. Um, last year. <laughs> <laughs> And now look at you, yeah. Tom Waterhouse. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Last year, Richmond uh, played my team, GWS, controversial, mm. um, in the grand final. And they fucking whooped them. And I just yeah. can't forgive Richmond for that. And mm-hmm. so I bet against Richmond. And it was against my better judgment because they totally flogged Melbourne and I, I lost my money. I mean, they, they won. Yeah, but you got to think they won the premiership. Yeah, I know. Surely. Yeah. Like, it's a silly bet. Yeah, I know it's a silly bet. I said my emotions were involved. I got fucked up. Yeah. Um, can't win them all. You can't no, win them all. How much did you, you lose on that one, Stu? Um, that's a great question. Uh, it just, it just put, says my shirt. I put $3 on that, so I didn't lose very much. Just yeah, that's it. Um, and then I a, a, a game for, for my team, my AFL team, GWS um, versus Hawthorne came up. And yep. uh, once again, impassioned by my emotions, I picked my team. It's and you. I'm glad I did because GWS came uh, out on top. Right on. They say never gamble in your own team. Do they actually say that? Well, I was wondering. Say, uh, yeah, it clears your judgment. A lot of people, yeah. uh, what a lot of people do is bet on the people versing their team. So the idea is at, when it's all over, they're happy because either they've won money or their team's won. Oh, yeah. So that's that's wow. a lot of people's logic, but it's, it's still move. dangerous logic. It is dangerous logic. I, I actually just it think makes sense. the whole thing. It makes thing. sense actually the best if you pick a team that sucks, which is why my team's Carlton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, it, I'm always a winner. I think that I think yeah, that's how that works. I think that the whole process is devoid of logic. Now that you mention it, there's nothing. It's not really logical. Oh. It's just guessing. It's just like yeah. Anyway, whatever. Yes. I don't. I'm not. Exp- I'm. I don't know. I've only done uh, it. Only, it's days. all devoid of logic. Oh, fuck off. Mm-hmm. Right. Only only peasants do this kind of thing. <laughs> Not thespians like me. <laughs> Too smart. Boy. Yes, okay, Stu. Come on. Enough. Enough yelling to the to the lights, Stu. Come on. At the at the end of my gambling, I had lost my Irish wristwatch and my Swiss wristwatch. <laughs> okay. Um. So and then I got fucking cocky, and because mm-hmm. I still I had I had made oh, a lot that, of money. Is, Just let me oh, let me what, go. What was let what me was go. happening the years before this? I oh, get fucked. <laughs> what did you say when I was gone, you dickheads? <laughs> Didn't say anything Fuck. about you. All right, I'm not as cocky as you think, Dave. I'm a sensitive boy. All right, Fuck. we love you, Stu. That's, that's that's clear now. Moving on. Um, I got really cocky, and I I saw that there was a, a match between the Canterbury Bulldogs and the Rabbitohs. Mm-hmm. And in my mind, yeah. by all the logic that I'd used so far, the Canterbury Bulldogs were due for a win. Yeah. And growing up, the Rabbitohs were the, like the shittest team. Um, when I when I was growing up, but that has changed. It is worth mentioning they have more premierships than any other team. Oh, I know, I know, but like that's just my that's over that's before my lifetime even. So I get like that, yeah. just growing up, I just have this association with the Rabbitohs being a real shit team. Mm-hmm. I do think that inside all of us there is a tiny version of us who claims they are a Rabbitohs supporter. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't do, but you know. I bet ten bucks on the Canterbury Bulldogs at five dollar odds. Is that how you say it? five buck payout? Nice. Uh, yeah, yeah. And they lost, and that's that's okay. when I got hit hard, and I was like, right. And then actually, you, I don't know if you guys can see, but in the book, I've actually I wrote down in big block letters the words cap, and I drew a line at the bottom of the pa- at like the bottom of the page, and I was like, cap, cap it here, no more, done. Okay. But the list goes on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It was it, it was at this point, Dave, that I t- I took your advice from last time, and I just chased oh, yeah. that feeling, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just yeah. Started going for it. Because so, I so still where have are money. you in terms of like profit now? Uh, How far up are you right it, now? Uh, right now, I've got about 
50, 50 bucks sitting in the sports schmeckles. desk. 50 schmeckles. Still, yeah. But I, was, I looked at it and I was like, I was like, that's a lot of gambling money. That's a lot of gambling money. Any, any money is a lot of gambling money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you look at it that way. And so you know, the only amount the only amount that's not a large amount of gambling money is zero money. Uh, yeah, yeah. Normally exactly. as a result of gambling. So and you know, I should have I didn't actually do my full research on the Canterbury Bulldogs because I, I when I did go back and I was like, oh God, what did I do wrong? I look back and it says when the odds are 5.0, there's a, about a 20% chance that this team will win. And when the Canterbury Bulldogs have odds of 5.0, right. they win 1% of the time. Oh. 1%. So I really should have looked at that before I placed the bet. Uh, and then uh-huh. I was like, okay, sports are not, not really treating me very well. I've, I've started to lose a bit of money and I'm not feeling as good as I was before. So okay. I bet on, actually, just for the shits and giggles, I bet on a, a game of StarCraft. Oh, oh cool. Has, has the game yeah. of StarCraft finished yet? It actually hasn't. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, really? <laughs> I can't yeah. believe I made that goof. And then I went back to Overwatch where I got so lucky the first time. Yep. And unfortunately, I, I lost that one too. So I'm, I'm on a bit of a losing streak now from my winning streak oh, to wow. losing streak. And so I was, I was just like, okay, let's just, let's just remove a bit of money from sports bets so I don't get too carried away. Um, and then I, I, I got into this thing. I don't know if you guys – have you guys ever downloaded a sports bet? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's there's this, there's this thing called. I remember once. Multi- I remember once. Um, we went out on a big night. Um, and then the next time we saw each other was like 4 p.m. And we both just looked like absolute, absolute dog shit. And there's just like there's like maybe we're in the same room for about 30 minutes before any of us either say something. And then the first thing that said is Chris looking at me and going, "Last night, I got so drunk, I made a sports bet account." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it's probably. Yeah, it's did you lose good. much that night? It's probably not hard to guess that I didn't make any money off yeah. those bets. Uh, <laughs> but there, it, it tricks you into thinking that you could just chuck some money and make a whole bunch back. Yeah. Um, yes. And and they've also got that ticking the ticking time bomb on it. There's yep. a, there's a counter on it, and it's like, oh, you got four minutes to place this bet. What are you gonna do? Yeah, do you want to yeah. press boost to increase your odds? Anyway, so actually, I yeah. got into this thing which I had been afraid to touch, but I was like, you know what? I'm just going to fucking do it. It's, they're called right. multis. So you can bet on lots yeah, of different yeah. things. Yeah, and yeah. if, you get, if, you, oh, get, you, if you get all of them right, uh, you get a bigger payout. And there's also a thing f- which I think they use to get new users completely hooked. Mm. Um, it's like called a, a odds boost or a power boost. Yep. And so I put a... a Is this a, related a to the a, golden crown and purple velvet cape you're wearing right now, Stu? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, that's just what I bought with my winnings. Um, mm. Nothing to do with gambling at all. It's all my hard work. Um, so I bet on silly bets. I made some silly fucking bets. Yep. I bet that Atletica and Real Madrid in the um, Spanish league would tie. Yeah. Done. Fucking done. Okay. Right? Yeah. Should have bet on Real Madrid. But the odds were great. So I was like, you know what? Of Ties course. happen all the fucking time in soccer. It's a low scoring sport. Yep. And then there was two like in the multi kind of pack, one of the one of the it was like this Swedish league. And I was like, right, well the tie is a bit out there, so I'm just gonna go on two sure things uh from the, the women's sh- Swedish league. And uh boys just like three losses in a row. Just straight yeah. up, nothing. Yep. In the same multi. Nothing. Or yeah, that's all in the multi. And it was it increased the odds so much that it was like I put eight bucks on the bet, but yep. the payout was meant to be like 90 something yeah and i yeah. and then when i saw that number yeah. i was like and like i'm a fucking small fry in the fan financial world i'm the, i'll be the first to admit it yeah. but when i saw the number 90 dollars, i was like all right it's getting real put your phone away like i almost deleted the app i was like get it yeah get it, go away get it away get it away yeah, from me like right. if i am starting to rely on the idea of this 90 bucks coming back my way i'm lost i'm lost for good yeah so i completely lost that God, Chris, and how fucking bad would you feel if our friend Stu just became destitute in the next year because of this recommendation? <laughs> I'd feel awful. I'd feel so bad. No, I think I've got one more bet happening. Oh, shit. Hey, boys, just yeah. logged on. I've, hey, I've, I've had a win. Hey, yeah, really? Yeah, I bet on a tennis match. Scott, Scott Jones. Cheers, Scott Jones. Scott E. Yeah. Um, he made me 28 cents. Um, <laughs> good on you, Scott. Yeah. Always good for okay. it, old Scott. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I think I bet twenty five, so the payout's three cents. Hey, hey. I'm trying. I'm, try, you could I'm bet trying. I'm trying to work way. my way back up so I can have enough to yeah. place a proper bet. Yeah. You know, um, and then lose that. But look, as soon as the Starcraft game is done, if I win, I'm taking my money out and I'm deleting this thing. Yeah. How much is in there right now? Um, how much is in here? Uh, twenty eight cents. Yeah. But I have withdrawn from it. So uh, when when all is said and done, right now I'm fifteen dollars up. Okay, that's that's pretty yeah, nice. Yeah, it's nice. not bad. Yeah, at least I didn't lose. Better anything. than most. Yeah, yeah. But nah, it's it's not really for me. The best thing the best thing about this was a dream that I had. Right, I was like waiting in line at the at, at basically the doors to heaven. Right. Yeah. Sure. And then I get to the front of the line, and they're like, "Yep, yep, all good." And then he's like, "Oh, oh I'm sorry, I can't let you into heaven." You've, that Starcraft game hasn't finished yet. No, no, <laughs> no. You've gambled. It's a mortal sin. You've gambled. Yeah. And then I was like, I didn't even. I didn't want to. My mate made me do it for a podcast, and they were like, Nah, I'm afraid rules. Well, is I rules. recommend you go to hell. <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty much. <laughs> so I had a. Uh, it was pretty. It was a pretty ang- anxiety-ridden experience the whole week. But it was actually yeah. a lot of fun just seeing what that whole world is about. But uh, it's not for me. Not for me at all. Nice. Boys, you rate it? I give 30 stars overall, uh, yep. 10 stars for experience, 10 for spiritual growth, and 10 stars for stars. Stars for stars for, for stars. Yeah. For experience. My favourite charity, Stars for Stars. Stars for Stars. <laughs> <laughs> it's, where, it's where six stars <laughs> get visited by healthy stars. Um, yeah, that's right. I really enjoyed the experience, funnily enough to, like, to say. It wasn't necessarily pleasant, but it was kind of, kind of fun. Um, the rush mm. of gambling. So I'm going to give it seven for experience. Yeah, wow. Uh, for spiritual growth, I mean, I got booted out of heaven, so mm-hmm. I'm going to say two stars for spiritual oh, yeah. growth. Um, no. I was expecting negative ten, <laughs> yeah, so that's, it's, that's it, great. I, I almost gave it negative, but like, I actually learned some things, so you know, it gets a, a couple of stars. Yeah. Um, and four stars, I'm going to say three stars because you know it's a bit of fun. I'm not going to say don't don't go and gamble, but if I give it ten stars. People are going to think it's hot shit and they're going to go out and gamble mm. and I just don't think that's good for people. So three mm-hmm. stars for stars. All right, great. Yeah. Um, before we go much further, boys, I just uh, I haven't given our my, my, my Wish. weekly wish.com oh, update yeah, yet. Hell, hell yeah. So I did some maths, right? Yep. Uh, as of today, as of, the, as of the recording this podcast, mm. yep. I ordered my items 43 days ago. Oh, my God. Okay. The money was taken out of my account 43 days ago. Yeah. Yeah. I was originally told my items would arrive at latest 19 days ago. Mm-hmm. Okay. And they're now telling me that they'll arrive in a, at, at most 10 days time. At most. Yes. Okay. But okay. there is a bit of an update. Okay. Uh, guess how many packages have arrived thus far? Uh, ooh, I like placing bets. Mm. In the last week. Okay. Well, the thing, the thing I know about wishes is that sometimes they don't come true. Uh huh. So I'm going to say none, or like whatever the running total is so far is okay. going to be the same. Uh, what what are the odds? <laughs> what are you going to give me? Two point <laughs> two. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah! I'm going to say um, <laughs> it's what it says on the screen. All right, I'm going to say one item has arrived. No items have arrived. Fucking no no arrived. Not, <laughs> not one. Not one. Okay. I uh, yeah. Anyway, too good. I need I need to get cheered up, boys. I need to get cheered up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I mean, lockdown. Uh, I know something that might coming. cheer you up. Oh yeah. Huh? Do you want to maybe just uh, sit back and have a bit of a family movie night? Oh, family movie night. That sounds like a great idea. Yeah, that'd, that'd be nice. Right. I'll, put, I'll put some popcorn on. Latest throwback craze. Welcome to family movie night. This is the part of the show where every episode we sit down and under the guise of fair use, mm-hmm. we watch 10 seconds of Home Alone. All right, without further ado, let's watch the next 10 seconds. Here we go. God, it's still such a gorgeous oh, house, isn't it? It's it's still, still, there it is, the house with actual actors on screen. Oh, an iconic oh staircase. Oh my God. Seriously. Is co- my cat, Julio oh McCat. Oh my God. Is that a man, policeman? What's the policeman doing inside? Around. Oh, So shit, many questions. That was, a, that was big. So man. many wow. questions. Okay, Everyone's so, so excited what did we see? in that house. So lots of ki- lots a- kids running down the stairs, lots of family photos on the walls. Mm. i got a bit of oh. uh, home alone trivia if you guys want it. Sure. Okay. Um, so the set designer made a point of making everything in the house 
uh, red and green because it's a Christmas movie. Oh. So even in this shot we're seeing right now, it's just green and red everywhere. Everything is red and green. It really is, yeah. yeah it's got it's a gorgeous. green plant in the corner and a red wall. Yeah, nice. It's also homely. Unreal. Very cool. Maybe the best 10 seconds yet. I'll say it. I can't wait to see how that sword fight turns out. <laughs> yeah. It's just two kids fighting fighting with swords on the, on the stairs. That's an important plot point for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you killed my father. All righty. With family moving, I'm done and dusted. It's time to move on to the part of the show where we recommend the things that we're gonna review. And I'm singing this part in a prog rock fashion and it's going to be in the show. Cause I am the one who edits the podcast and I decide what stays and what goes. <laughs> so who is gonna recommend first? Who is gonna recommend? Who is gonna recommend first for the podcast? I think that is gonna be Dave. Dave, do you wanna recommend right, first for the podcast? Yeah, I'll give it I'll give it a crank. Yeah, cool. Uh, so this week I'm recommending for you, Stu. Yeah, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, cool. What you got for me? I know that you know out there. There's a lot of uh, conjecture. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of uh, debate out there at the moment in the world right now. Mm-hmm. You know, some people, <coughs> even we've talked about it on the podcast. Yeah. Um, some people, you know, they think uh, idiots. I'm pretty sure. I uh, think that the you know, the world is is a kind of a like an oh, like a like an egg shape or like kind of like a like a sphere. Oh right? no. Yeah. Wait, oh, what? no. Some yeah. people, some people, you know, they think, I would say probably rightly, you know, that the earth is kind of like a disc shape, just like a flat kind of disc. David. Stuart Owen. Oh, no. This week I want you to go out there. Yeah. Gather all the evidence you can find. Uh, yeah. Come back and convince <laughs> me that the earth is flat. <laughs> All right, I'll get on it. I'll get on it. Well, All I mean, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. My heart's my heart's open. My mind's open. <laughs> yeah, I'll, look, I pro- I'll come into it with an open mind, Stu. Okay. Oh god. Got okay. My spirit yeah. level ready. Yeah, you have to you have to come in with an open mind for yeah. sure, and then and then yeah, yeah no naysayers. Okay. Uh, no, okay. no, we would never. Yeah. All right, cool. I'll bring oh, you back man. some some real science, and we'll we'll go through it. We'll go through it next week. That great. sounds Thanks, great. Mate. That Appreciate sounds really it, That's great. All right, I am gonna recommend for you this uh, week, Chris. Mm-hmm. Um, don't don't get too worried. It's okay. all good. All right. um, now, uh, without getting too much into our personal lives, Chris and I both live in Melbourne, and it was just announced today that we're going back into lockdown. Yeah, yeah. six weeks it's for six bloody. Weeks. Though to be fair, I have been in lockdown already in Brunswick West for the last week. So that's that's true. Yeah. Um, which yeah, is it's really crazy. never let up for you, has it? No, it hasn't been good. And which is crazy because I'm 200 meters down the road and I'm not in lockdown. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Well, yeah, I, I mean, was. You are now. And now we are. Yeah. Anyway, look, we're going back into lockdown. And lockdown the first time round was was pretty fun for some people and novel because you got to do some skill acquisition. Um, yep. You get to do things that you didn't normally do. And so, Chris. I want you to go back to the uh, the skill acquisition drawing board, uh-huh. and what I want okay. you, what I want you to do is I want you to take this week and I want you to learn how to juggle. Oh no! Oh, I suck so much at juggling. <laughs> oh no! Ah, oh, that famous famous audio medium juggling. Ah, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> uh, okay, okay, yeah. all right. Tell you what, Stu. Yeah. By the next, by the, by the end of the next week, I'll be making a masterclass video on juggling. <laughs> All right, mate. That's right. All right. <laughs> yeah, we can run our own series: skateboarding, juggling, and and trucking. Yeah. Uh, all right, which brings us to the last one. Brings us to you, yeah. David. I'm ready. Dave, I'm, a, David, I'm a receptacle. David, 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 David. David, David. 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 I feel like you guys are ganging up on me somehow. Um, I was watching a movie the other day, and uh, after I. T- tell you this recommendation, it'll, it'll become clear which movie I was watching, but it inspired me to make this recommendation to you, Dave. Okay. Uh, I'll be honest, it's going to take some time. Okay. But I think you're going to have a blast doing it. All right. Uh, Dave. Yeah. I recommend that you yeah. write and create oh. a Eurovision song. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yes, man. I mean... It could be good, it could be bad. Eurovision uh, covers all sorts, but you have to write oh my God. and create a Eurovision song and uh, play it for us here on the pod. Hell to, yeah. Do I have to play it for you or can I just record it? Oh, oh no, record it and then play it. Like, you know. Okay, right. Fucking hell. It doesn't have to be a live, oh. a live set. Fuck yeah, man. 
Next episode is going to be great. Yep. Have fun. Have fun with that, so mate. Excited. They're going to be fucking like, I mean, they're going to be like <laughs> juggling flat earth and this Eurovision twat. What a bunch of, what a bunch of clowns. Yes. Yeah. A little bit. A bunch of clowns. Alrighty, folks. That is pretty much the show. But before we let you go, I want you to have a quick listen to this. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to Kick the Cool. You've done it. You found it in the giant sea of cool podcasts that are out there. You found the one that kicks the cool to the curb, and it's a great place to be. I'm your little, little brother, Wopsle. I'm your big sister, Shishi. I am the biggest little brother, Tone. Kick the Cool is a new podcast that gives you the reviews you didn't know you needed. And I am going to review Weird Al Yankovic. We have taken a solemn vow to give you the most friendly, heartfelt, and helpful reviews. I'm going to review <laughs> new fable <laughs> technology. You've ever heard so you can live your life to the fullest. <laughs> <laughs> my face hurts real bad after that one. <laughs> <laughs> this is a devastating. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was Kick, Kick the Cool, cool a, a really awesome podcast uh, straight out of uh, America. Yeah. They're, uh, they're a great, great bunch of guys, really fun to listen to. And we, we wreck pool and boys. And unlike a lot of podcasts, I'm not pretending that I've listened to them. Yeah. <laughs> No, they're great. Um, they're great. Check them out. They, they really are. Yeah. Pool Boys recommend that you go and check out Kick the Cool. That's right. Look, if you want to support us, um, you can actually buy us the equivalent of a coffee. You can just send us a, a tiny little schmeckle, a cash, a couple of dead celebs there at coffee.com <laughs> forward slash the Pool Boys. That's actually ko-fi.com slash the Pool Boys. Yep. And you can also check out our website, uh, our colorful new website, which is poolboyscomedy.wixsite.com forward slash the Pool Boys. So Pool Boy, we put Pool Boys in there twice. And uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel just by clicking on the link in the show description. Uh, find pictures of my board game and all our other misadventures at Facebook, Insta, <laughs> and Twitter. Uh, we're, we're Poor Boys Comedy on all three. And uh, Dave already said it, but I'll say it again. Uh, you can chip us, chip us, chip us in, and buy, buy us a coffee. We'd really appreciate it. Yeah, at, uh, yeah, yeah. Got to keep, keep the Poor Boys caffeinated, and <laughs> you can right. do that at ko-fi.com forward slash the Poor Boys. Uh, I also want to say thank you very much to Apex Bloom for the use of our theme song, Roll. You can listen to the full song that we use as our theme song uh, by clicking the link again in the show description. Uh, good tune. You, yeah, it's a great tune. Yeah, and, good and tune. When you do click on it, don't worry about it. They uh, they used to be called St. Ivory, so it'll say that on the screen, but they're the same band and now they go by Apex Bloom. Guys. Yeah. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you, Stu. And we will, we will see you. Uh, next week. My name is Stu. I'm Chris. I'm Davey. And uh, Davey, take it away. Ba, 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 ba. <gasps> ba, 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 Oh, I love rock and roll. Ba, ba. I love rock and roll. Yeah, that's right. oh, yeah, that's right. I love rock and roll. Put another yeah. dime into sports, man, baby. Oh, man. <laughs> the losing streak continues. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for listening. We'll catch you next week. See ya. It'd be really funny to like edit it all together so it's just us reacting to the entire movie. I mean, one day we can do such that. Such a long time. One, oh, one day. That would be amazing. Yeah, one day so we can fun. do that. It's just going to be a mess. <laughs> <laughs>